The fall anime season is going to be one of the craziest anime seasons we are going to witness. There are so many great shows, so here are my picks on what you should be looking out for. I'll start off with an anime on everyone's list and that is Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is a manga that everyone who has read it knows is just incredible. And the hype for seeing it animated has been no less but crazy. After seeing all the trailers and leaks, I can pretty confidently say that this is going to be up there for anime of the year contention. The story is amazing. Amazing, the characters are amazing and now MAPPA has also shown us world class animation to go along with it. So now all we have left to do is just wait for Chainsaw Man to air and witness greatness. Nothing else to say about Chainsaw Man other than it's going to be a masterpiece. Right MAPPA? Talking about being a masterpiece, another masterpiece is back on air after being gone for a while. Spy Family is now finally back for the second part and I can guarantee you that it's going to be awesome. We will get new characters and more emotional moments in this part and of course even more Anya cuteness. Spy Family if you didn't know is a story about a make do family and if you haven't watched it now it's a great time to catch up to. And to anyone saying it's mid, trash or overrated, please shut the fuck up. If you thought those two were stacked then it's not over yet. Mob Psycho 100 which is in my opinion one of the greatest shonen anime ever made is coming back for a third season. This is an anime which is from the author of One Punch Man and if you haven't watched it then please do because I personally believe Mob Psycho is better than One Punch Man. Mob Psycho is an anime which got everything from action, drama, comedy and romance and I'm pretty sure the third season is also going to be just as awesome as the past two seasons because it's animated by the same studio for the whole three seasons unlike some other shows. If you haven't caught up to Mob Psycho you totally should because it's just an incredible anime. So I have a confession to make. I hope you guys will accept me after I say this but I haven't watched Bleach or My Hero Academia. Yeah I don't know shit about these two animes but I will try to catch up to MHA. Uh, I don't think I have mental strength to sit through 366 episodes of MED, so probably ranking Bleach for the tier list is not going to happen. But don't worry, Gigax video should be out by then, which makes me even more irrelevant. But moving on to more anime, and this one is something I've been waiting for, and that is To Your Eternity Season 2. Season 1, if you haven't watched, is a very emotional story about an immortal being that landed on Earth and is trying to learn what a human is. It's incredible and one of the best stories I've ever read. It's from the same author who wrote Silent Voice, so it should be obvious that it's a banger. I have high hopes for Season 2 as long as they don't pull a promise Neverland Season 2. Other anime I'm looking forward to includes Blue Lock, which is a football anime. Yeah, I meant the actual football, not the hand egg. And the community seems to either love it or hate it. So I can't decide if it's really worth waiting for or it's completely trash. Also, I have no other idea about the show other than the fact that it's a sports anime, but hopefully it surprises. Uzaki-chan is also coming back and all you coomers can finally celebrate Christmas. So get ready to see more tits on your Twitter feed starting next week. Now there are some new anime that I hope surprises and the one I'm looking at is Urusei Yatsura which seems to be like an experimentation where the anime has an 80s visual style but with modern techniques implemented along with it. The trailer looked very cool and if the plot is good then I guess it's a win. Do It Yourself is another anime that I'm looking forward to due to my slice of life brain cells being activated and I need some cute girls doing cute girl things in my life. This is supposedly an anime about building furniture and following the niche anime genre like, like Super Cup for Scooters and Let's Make Mugs. Hopefully it's good if not better but I will surely be watching regardless. Before I end it we will be getting a couple of movies this season but most notably Makoto Shinkai will be releasing your name for the third time under a different title and this time it's called Suzume. I'm just kidding and yeah Suzume is releasing this season but I'm pretty sure 90% of you won't be able to watch it anytime soon. I know I missed a lot of animes here but these are the ones that I'm particularly looking forward to the most. Drop animes that you think are going to be a hit or a miss next season. It's a packed season with a lot of good stuff so anime fans are really eating good. Thanks for watching this video, drop a like if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you like my content and see you later.